Hello everyone, I'm RanX1000, and I'm here with uh, YourMove.ai. So I saw Moist Critical do this, and I just really want to try this on my own, just see what it'll come up for me. And I finally got, um, I finally figured out how to do a screen recording on my laptop and have the the camera going on as well, which is really nice to have. Okay, welcome to Profile Writer. Answer a few questions, get a free AI generated dating app profile, test it and optimize for maximum success. Oh, I bet. Oh gosh, like why? Why are we using AI for this stuff? Which app profile should we create for you? The most recent one I used actually was Christian Mingle, but I guess before that I would I would do Bumble. I guess I am a man. What am I looking for? Something casual, long-term partner, long-term partner. Yeah, AI is gonna be doing a game for me. Let's go. With my AI Riz. God, that sounds so horrible. I'm not actually gonna use this. I'm just you know I'm. I just want to see how goofy this gets. Okay, what activities do you enjoy doing in your free time? Okay. Playing video games. Uh, watching. Oh, going to the movie theater. Going to the movie theater. Discovering. Restaurants. I'll do going out to eat going out for going out for dinner going out for dinner I also like hmm writing writing fiction I think one more one more would be good uh, making YouTube videos. All right. What characteristics are you looking for in your partner? I want to say. Come on. Wait. How, what, how do you do? The, okay. Okay. Uh, mature, spontaneous. Uh. Confident. Mature, spontaneous, confident. I think that would be the best. Yeah. What unusual skill do you have? I I can't really tell you like what would be an unusual skill. Like, I, I really don't know. Um, unusual skill. Poetry on the fly. I, I don't know. I'm putting anything at this point. What's one thing on your bucket list? Finding a girlfriend. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> what do you enjoy talking about? Action movies? Uh... Food. Hmm. I would say future or nothing about. My bucket list. Writing. That seems good. What do you do for work? I attend college at UC Riverside. Hi, oh, fellow Highlanders, where are you at right now? Anyone here? Anyone? Anyone watching? That's actually at UC Riverside. Who? 
I don't know. Let me know. Pick your writing style. I would say thoughtful. Okay, let's go down to the no thanks. I already read just the first few words, and I'm... Oh, I'm already cringing. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'm a man of many stories. Get out of my way. Wait. I'm a man of many stories, some of which I tell through the fiction I write, and others I bring to life on camera through my YouTube videos. When the cameras are off, I'm still stepping into new narratives, only this time, they're mine to live. This makes me seem like writing is like my only personality trait, bro. Oh, sheesh. Let's, let's do another one. Okay. As a... I just have to read the first few... Oh, I'm already dying. <sighs> my cat just meowed. As a wor... <sighs> this is so cringe to read. As a wordsmith with a secret talent... I weave verse into verse in the unlikeliest of moments when I'm not conjuring fictional worlds you can find me navigating the real one one script at a time. Ew. Ew. What is this? Uh, oh, gosh. No, this is bad. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's do another one. When words are my solace, I find poetry pouring out of me. <laughs> a reflection of my head. Hold on, I gotta get, like, let me get into character. When words are my solace, I find poetry pouring out of me. A reflection of my inner world. In the midst of chaos, I seek refuge in the rhythm of spoken words. Who the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> What the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> this, is, this is like Reddit or bullshit, bro. What another? Let's do another one. A film buff with a taste of with a taste for adventure. I'm always scribbling down new story ideas between bites of my favorite dishes. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This sounds kind of accurate. Not the film buff, but like you know, a taste for adventure. I'm always scribbling down new story ideas between bites of my favorite dishes. Hopefully, my next great script will be inspired by a meal with someone who shares my passions. <sighs> oh boy. Oh, I, okay. Well, let's see another one. Oh, these are too. Ugh. As a wordsmith by nature, I weave tales that. Trans okay, this sounds like a one I need to get into character for. As a wordsmith by nature, I weave tales that transport me to new worlds, much like the ones I get lost in during a late night gaming session. <laughs> uh, wait, okay, I'm gonna be honest, th this, this sounds accurate though, like it is kind of funny how accurate it gets, it's just really bad, it's just bad riz, but oh my goodness, like, as a wordsmith by nature, I weave tales that transport me to new worlds, much like the ones I get lost in during a late night gaming session. That actually feels pretty accurate, actually. My imagination knows no bounds, and I'm always on the lookout for someone who can keep up with my creative energy. In the quiet moments, you can find me scribbling away in my journal, crafting stories that will one day become legends. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go a little more unhinged. We're gonna we're gonna amp this up a bit. <sighs> oh man, when words fail me, I make them up on the spot. Maybe we can create a love story together, one rhyming couplet at a time. What the fuck is th you know what we're we're going we're going harder we're going tinder flirty poetry flows from my heart but a decent conversation flows better if words can be our love language I'm already a wordsmith catch me crafting sonnets or something like that I don't know why I turned into shadow when I <laughs> but gosh this sounds oh the writing is so pretentious here this is horrible I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm a wordsmith with a penchant for crafting compelling narratives. 
And I'm always on the lookout for someone to share in my passion for storytelling and life's other simple pleasures. In my free time, you can find me, you can find me scribbling away in a quiet cafe or plotting my next great literary adventure. I'm starting to see things like, as a wordsmith myself, or I'm a wordsmith by nature, or in my free time, you can find me scribbling away. Like, I'm starting to see the, the, the tropes now in here. Yeah. Look, this is, look, it's knowing, it knows what I'm saying. So look, as a wordsmith with a penchant for spontaneity, I find solace in crafting verses that capture life's fleeting moments. Between scribbling lines and attending classes at UC Riverside, I'm always on the lookout for inspiration. Perhaps it's in the plots of my favorite action movies or the flavors of a new dish. Whoever I meet, I'm ready to weave a poetic narrative around them. <sighs> Look, let me just say this is, it it is when you when you actually try to do this seriously though, it does start to feel too accurate. Like, yeah, between swimming lines and attending classes, yeah, I'm always on the lookout for inspiration. That's actually very true for me. I'm always looking for inspiration. And perhaps the plus favorite action movies or the flavors of a new dish. Whoever I'm meeting, ready to read the poem I can never around them. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I would write a poem for someone that I like. I probably would. Yeah. It, it's still... Some of these are just so weird, but sometimes they get, like... Sometimes, like, spot on, even though... Even though the Riz is really crap. Sometimes it feels way too accurate. I'm a college student by day and a romantic at heart. <sighs> That hit me with a bunch of, uh... <sighs> Searching for someone to share in life's adventures and quiet moments. For me, the ultimate checklist accomplishment is finding that special someone to grow with. Oh, boy. Your move that AI... Oh, my shit. I... Ugh, yeah. What's with okay? Hold on, let me let me change to like, okay. <clears throat> Together we could. Together we could cross that bucket list item off and make some amazing new memories. Okay, it's just generic as hell. Together we could craft spontan. What? Oh, don't bring me back to poetry. I shouldn't have put poetry. Together we could craft spontaneous sonnets on sunset strolls. And laugh about our imperfect rhymes. <laughs> this right here is the mind of every poetry student I've seen. Anyway. Together we could create our own video game inspired dinner parties. And script the next blockbuster rom-com. Rom-com? No! And actually, video game inspired dinner party. Not gonna lie. That was pretty accurate to what my 21st birthday was. It was a mix between Elden Ring and, and Bloodborne. That was fucking awesome. I loved it. Uh, but, come on, the rom-com? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Together we could dominate college coffee breaks. <sighs> ace group projects. And explore Riverside's hidden gems. Yay! How do you do, fellow students? That's how it sounds right now. How do you do, fellow kids? Together we could create a sweet squad. A sweet squad. My fucking word. Create a sweet squad in Mario Kart. Script a rom-com worthy dinner date. Or co-author a bestseller. Oh my shit. A sweet squad in Mario Kart. Yeah, I'm a gamer, so I play Mario Kart. Jeez, man. Ugh. Script a rom-com worthy dinner date. What the fuck? Dude, the only one that, that is valid is together we could co-author a bestseller. That's like the only valid one right now. You know what? That would be awesome. Imagine that. I get a girlfriend that's like also a writer. That would be crazy. Together we could devour entire pizzas while geeking out over Marvel movies and ma mapping out our next wild adventure. Not gonna lie, I would probably <laughs> buy, I would probably get this and mod it up a bit, like modify it. But, you know, that sounds, not gonna lie, that actually sounds kind of fun. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. Together we could create epic gaming marathons, script our own movie adaptations, and fill YouTube with our laughter and imagination. Okay. Let, let, let's 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 uh, let's change up a bit. Let's go to <clears throat> let's try Hinge, and now we're gonna do the uh, the other ones. What's the other ones? Uh, my love language or oh, okay. My love language is oh boy, this is gonna be terrible. My love language is late night pizza, study breaks, and campus adventures with someone who gets me. That hit a little. Okay, hold on a minute. That actually hit a little too close to home. That hit really... Oh, shit. <sighs> this one was actually not that cringe. But that's... um, Yeah, late night pizza study breaks. And campus adventures with someone who gets me. <sighs> We're moving on. My love language is impromptu sonnets and whispered verses that make your heart skip a beat. Oh, gosh, man. Ugh. 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 My love language is sonnets in the morning and making you laugh all day. It's really diving into the poetry part. I mean, I guess, but like, no. <laughs> My love language is quality time, laughter, and helping others tick off their bucket list together. Like finding a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I would never put that. Oh, that sounds so, uh, sounds embarrassing. That's embarrassing. My love language is helping you check, find a girlfriend off your bucket list together. Can we stop with the fucking bucket list, please? My love language is sonnets scrawled on sticky notes, whispered promises, and late night conversations that bleed into dawn. This is fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same type of weird if we bonded over late night pizza and procrastinated studying together. Stop. Anything has to do with late night pizza and studying together? Stop, please. That No. We're not doing that right now. We're the same type of weird if we survived on a diet of Arnold Schwarzenegger quotes and daydreamed about eating our way through Asia. Wonderful. We're the same type of weird if we celebrated finding each other as a bucket list checkoff. Come on, okay, that's kind of cute. That, that's cute. That's not that bad. That's that's kind of funny. That's goofy. It's whatever. That's not bad. We're the same type of weird if we geek out over Schwarzenegger one-lighters and debate the best pizza topping. Why is it picking Schwarzenegger? Oh, because of action movies? Are you serious? If it only says short... Man. How about get Keanu in here or something? We're the same type of weird if you could craft a sonnet on a whim, and I could respond with an impromptu love letter. We're the same type of weird if we bonded over impromptu sonnets and laughed at our own rhyme schemes. This okay, it's starting to repeat again. What the fuck, man? Ugh. This is some goofy shit. We're the same type of weird if we both prioritize love. Above skydiving and eating fancy cheeses. Do I look like the kind of guy that eats fancy cheeses? What the fuck? With the same type of weird if we shared a love for spontaneous verse and impromptu rhymes over coffee, it's... Okay, you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna end it here. This is just... <laughs> some of these were kind of... Some of them were actually like legitimately, like, okay. If I, like, modified them a bit. Not gonna lie. As long as you just give it enough... If you give the AI enough stuff to work with, it's more like... It's a tool to help you... Jot your ideas down in a nice way. Like, some of these I feel like I could salvage. That... Yeah. Some of these I feel like I could salvage. Edit them. And then put them in a dating profile, but... 
I'm off dating apps. I'm fucking done with them. Some of these I just was just dying of cringe. Holy shit. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to be doing more videos like this where you guys get to see my, my computer screen and the little webcam here. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more of this kind of stuff probably later on in the future just because uh, like, you know, like online quizzes or testing out AI. This is going to be kind of funny if I can start doing more of this stuff. Anyway, uh, that's it for me, guys. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and stay awesome.